Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Thursday, February 24th. According to an update in the latest software, it looks like Tesla might be offering a round steering wheel option in the new Model S and X. When Tesla unveiled the new Model S with the yoke butterfly steering wheel, it was controversial. Some were worried about the actual shape of the wheel being problematic, while others were concerned about the lack of driving stocks to choose drive modes. CEO Elon Musk later confirmed that Tesla indeed is working on a progressive steering wheel, but that's years away. Tesla has been quite stubborn to change it, but now a prominent Tesla hacker known as Green spotted a mention of a steering wheel swap for the option yoke or round in the vehicle's code. While the service is not available yet, it looks like a good indicator that Tesla will be walking back the mandatory wheel. Elon Musk is ramping up his fight with the Security and Exchange Commission. The situation between the SEC, Elon Musk, and Tesla appears to be escalating after a lawyer for Musk reached out to the court with serious allegations against the SEC. Now in a string of Twitter responses, Musk is saying that he has been building a case against the agency that he didn't start the fight, but he will finish it. He didn't elaborate on his plans to accomplish this, but we're guessing it has to do with a letter from his lawyer. The back and forth between Musk's lawyer and the SEC are expected to lead to new audiences with the court. Tesla has lost Brian Dow, the former director of engineering. He was taken up by a company called Generac, the leader in gas generators. While not at the top of the list for businesses that Tesla is disrupting, the home backup generator is actually starting to be disrupted by home battery packs being dominated by the Tesla Powerwall. Tesla has been deploying Powerwalls at a rate of over 100,000 units per year, and that's with battery cell supply constrained. Dow started at Tesla back in 2016 as a senior manager, and he was quickly promoted to director of engineering in charge of electronics, firmware, integration, and test, a position that he held for three and a half years. And now, Generac hopes to accelerate its effort for a new clean energy unit. Ahead of opening orders on March 1st, the 2022 Nissan Leaf will arrive in the UK and Europe with a refreshed exterior look. The 2022 models will include a new alloy wheel, Nissan's brand badges, and new exterior color choices. However, not much else has changed from the previous model year, including the decision to stick with the less used Chidemo charging port. Nissan told us the company will be switching to the more conventional CCS standard, being in the compact SUV model first, the Nissan Aria. Deliveries of the new Leaf are expected in April. Southern California EV startup Faraday Future unveiled a pre-production version of a long-fabled FF91 EV. They even took it out for a spin, accelerating on a straightaway followed by autocross demonstrations. The EV marks the beginning of pre-production ahead of engineering validation and certification testing as the vehicle approaches the start of production in the third quarter of 2022. Last fall, Faraday Future laid out seven milestones that it set out to accomplish in order to reach the start of production, so far accomplishing four. Next, the company plans to finish building the basic plant services, install equipment, and begin production this summer. The United States Postal Service issued a record of decision today, stating that it has finished the environmental review and responded to the Environmental Protection Agency's previous concerns. The USPS was believed to be electrified soon when President Biden announced a goal to electrify the government fleet. However, Postmaster Louis DeJoy announced that the replacement vehicles would be up to 90% gas-powered, provided by a defense contractor, Oshkosh. The EPA sent a letter of complaint, finding that, quote, the EPA's concern with the draft were not adequately addressed in that the final EIS remains seriously deficient. Now the USPS has responded, saying that they will go through with the plan to spend $11.3 billion on gas-guzzling 8.6 mile-per-gallon vehicles. Solid-state battery developer QuantumScape has shared plans for a new office in Kyoto, which will feature state-of-the-art lab for battery research and development. In addition to research and development, the new Kyoto office will be used for material and equipment evaluation and improve collaboration with the company's partners in the region. According to QuantumScape, it has already begun building a team of engineers and scientists in Japan. 
In today's community comment, I wanted to tell you that a piece of my equipment went missing, so I haven't been able to address the camera directly like I normally do. The Electric Man Channel says, another great podcast. Thank you, The Electric Man Channel. By the way, in case you guys missed it, back in April Fool's, there was an advertisement from an electronics company for a cyber mouse. They never wound up making this thing. I kind of thought they might have been testing the market when they made the advertisement, but maybe they were afraid of risking a lawsuit. Not terribly newsworthy, but I thought I'd share this with you anyway. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.